Hello and welcome to Wanna Brawl. With the update just around the corner, we've been getting a lot of sneak peeks, such as the Brawl Pass, balance changes, and gameplay of the new Brawler. But anyway, we were given a look of what the loading screen will look like. There's not too much to uncover here. It looks pretty cool. It's the new Brawler Gale, with one of his skins on, running away from some of the other Brawlers with their new skins on as well. But one thing I did find interesting is in the background, there's an eclipse happening, so the moon is covering the sun. And in real life, the next eclipse is due to happen on June the 5th. So this is quite an interesting theory that the next update will come on June the 5th which is entirely possible because in the loading screen last time there was a hidden date as well which was the date they announced Pam's remodel. So I have a feeling we might get some news or the update will come on June the 5th for the update after this one. So let's not get ahead of ourselves and I've got some more info about the Brawl Pass. So as you probably already know it costs 170 gems to get the Brawl Pass which is about $10 but even if you're not buying the Brawl Pass you can still progress on the free track and from this you can earn up to 90 gems and open a ton of boxes and get a load more rewards as well. So Supercell has not forgotten about free to play players. If you manage to get all the gems from the Brawl Pass this season and next season then you can buy a Brawl Pass for free if you save your gems. The premium pass which you can buy will have a lot of rewards like pins and other cool stuff and obviously you can unlock Gale. You can also buy tiers for 30 gems each but it's probably not worth it. And this season's pass will last two months. Once you get to the end of the Brawl Pass, you'll get a big box for every 400 tokens you earn. But moving on, I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite things that comes with each update, balance changes. So I'm going to make this quick, but I will put a link to the full changes in the description so you can see the specifics. So there's been a lot of gadget buffs. To start with, Barley's gadget, the slow area has increased and it lasts longer as well. Moving on to B, her gadget slow area has increased as well and the gadget always drops in front of her not behind her. When 8-Bit now uses his gadget, his damage booster won't get destroyed. Piper's gadget is reworked. It fires a single shot that slows down and pushes back an enemy. The gadgets for Dynamite, Daryl and Mortis no longer stop them from moving when they're using them. And Daryl's gadget does less damage, but actually charges his super instead. Sandy's main attack has gone up in damage, and Carl's super has gone up in damage as well. Brock, Bo and Barley's supers are now a fixed pattern instead of random. BB's health has gone down. Sprout's main attack damage has been decreased, Ems's hype star power does less healing, and Nita only has two gadget uses now instead of three, as well as the turrets in Siege having 5000 more health. So that was just some quick information, I might decide to analyse it in another video. But moving on to the next thing is the quests. There'll be three types of quests, small, medium, large, and quests that are exclusive to the Brawl Pass. These will come around every day, and you can get tokens from them which will help you level up your Brawl Pass. And for the last thing today, it's more stuff about Gale the new brawler. So his gadget has been revealed and his gadget will place down a spring trap which you probably have already seen on some maps already. The direction of the springboard is based on which direction Gale is facing when he uses his gadget. His first star power as I guessed correctly in my other video is that when enemies are hit with his super and are knocked back into a wall they are stunned for a second. Gale's second star power will give any teammates a speed boost when they are hit with Gale's super. Daryl has also now got some voice lines to him. Double barrel, Daryl for the win! And Pam's healing turret got remodeled as well as her skin. But I wanted to make this video quick today and not go on. So thank you for watching and see you next time.